Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the recently code contest weekly 2207. I can't speak today. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, and let's go over split a string into the max number of unique substrings. Uh, so I ended up taking about eight minutes on this one. I really shouldn't have. Uh, I just had. So this is actually, if you watch me solve it live later, um, which is after the explanation, I just had. This is one thing where I use single variable names. I use S here. So then it it conflict of the input X and I just ran into issues there. Uh, really silly. I've been really sloppy today. But the idea is, the the key part about this problem is noticing that um, N is less than 16. And when, once N, you notice that N is less than 16, well, there are only, um, if, if you have 16 characters, there are only 15 spaces between the characters, right? So that means, let's take a look at this, for example. Let's say you have this word, right? Um, Then that means that, you know, you could, you know, I'm going to draw, use the bar for the gaps. So you can, that means that you can put a separator here or here or here and so forth, right? And if you have practiced your combinatorics, uh, you'll know that given that there are 15 of these uh, in between spaces, um, you could do all possible set in 2 to the 15 times, the power set of them. Uh, and then once you do that recognition, um, then you can just uh, brute force if you will, every possible answer. And that's pretty much it, really. Uh, and that's pretty much how I did it. Um, I'll go over my solution uh, really quick. Um, I, I recommend doing this recursively because you can save some time that way. Uh, but I did it with uh, the bitwise power set. And basically what I did is that for each, um, each mask, so... I'm not going to go over power set in this video. It's a little bit beyond the scope. But basically, uh, you can think about a, a number between 1 to 2 to the power between as something like that. Um, and that means, and you could use this as 1 as in there's 1. Uh, that means that there is a divider there and 0 as in there's no divider there, right? And once you break, break that up as the mask, you know, we count. What this does is that it gives current. So current now is the set of the dividers. And now... I just go for it. If there's a divider, if index is in current, meaning that if there's a divider in this index, then then we want to split the string off that way. So we do we start with empty string. We keep on adding characters, and if we've seen it, that means that this cannot be a good um, solution. And and basically everything else follows. We ha we keep a, a a set of things that we've seen, and with the multiple strings of the same um, uh, appears in this division then that's not a good division and we have to take care about the trailing suffix uh, string and once we do that um yeah that's pretty much it if it's if this is good given these conditions uh you know we take the max of the number of divisions we have and that's pretty much the answer i have here or the number of chunks not the divisions um but yeah so basically proof force in a clever way if you will uh it's about it's roughly speaking n times uh, 2 to the n, where n is the number uh, or the number of characters in string, in, in the string. Uh, and in space, is it's roughly O of n, depending on how you want to phrase it, uh, or maximum space usage, because uh, scene will only contain at most one character per character in the original index, right? So, uh, but... You know, you could also say that I keep an allocating space, so depending on how you want to count it. But, uh, but yeah, so exponential <laughs> time and linear space. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, you can watch me solve it live next, and you can see that I I need to um, figure out better, better just like type uh, implementation uh, pattern. Uh, I hate to use that word. Excuse me. I hate to use that word pattern, but it's just more about mental like naming convention, right? Because I actually use initially I had something like S here. So then I keep on using S in two places uh, to mean different things. And that kind of was where my debugging was having issues for a long time. Um, and that cost me a lot of time. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, <laughs> but watch me solve it live next. Thank you for watching.
That's not good.
to worry about because I'm dumb. This is why you don't use single wearables. Also I should just switch the other one but behind hey uh yeah so that was the end of me solving this problem during the contest uh thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord ask me questions let me know how you you did how you feel uh and i will see you during the next problem uh bye bye